Court rules, it ruled states can now punish members of the Electoral College who don't put their support behind the winner in their state's popular vote in a presidential election. Yeah, joining us right now to talk more about that ruling is attorney Loretta Power. She's joining us from Denton, Texas today. And thanks for joining us, Loretta. First, uh, give us, uh, without giving us a civics lesson here, the Electoral College ultimately decides the election and not the popular vote. Does the Supreme Court ruling change any of that? It does not. And in fact, it actually makes it very problematic for those who want to disband the Electoral College altogether. That's because they spent about 33 pages talking about how the Electoral College is very constitutional. Okay, so explain that a little bit more. So obviously there are people who'd like to see that disappear. Um, is It's still in place. It's it's part of our constitution. It's part of who we are. Uh, any, any ruling like this, is it going to change that? No, especially because this was a unanimous decision and they talked a lot about case law on why we have the electoral college. That's why no states um, are really drowned out because we have it. I know a lot of people would like to see the popular vote decide our elections, but that's just not the case and that's not going to be the case according to this opinion. And Loretta, it doesn't happen often, right? But some presidential electors have gone rogue voting for someone else. And those people are rarely punished, but does this change that? No, it doesn't. And in fact, 15 states have it to where they could actually punish the person who votes rogue or by having an alternate vote for them. So I don't think this changes things that have been going on for about 200 years now. Does the why did the Supreme Court uh, decide to take this issue up? Is it just been politicized, or did somebody challenge this? That's right. So it's about three people in the state of Washington who did not vote for Hillary Clinton, even though that's what the popular vote said. So they were fined one thousand dollars. Instead of paying the thousand dollar fine, they actually sued, and it made its way all the way up to the Supreme Court. And so now with this ruling, Loretta, our understanding is the Supreme Court has clarified that. And is, are you saying that these people can now uh, be in trouble for that, for not doing what they're supposed to do? Exactly. They could be fined or they could be immediately rejected and an alternate vote is going to be cast. All right, Loretta, thank you so much. That's Loretta Powers joining us from Denton, Texas today to help us uh, work out the Supreme Court's ruling. We appreciate it.